Let's use SOHCAHTOA to find theta and alpha in this square base pyramid. So right off the bat, let's focus on theta. And for theta, we're focusing on this triangle over here. This is a right angle triangle. We can assume that this is a right square base pyramid. So this here is a right angle. And let's redraw this triangle so you can see things a bit more clearly. So what we have here is we have a nice base. And the base here is not 4. This whole entire square base is 4. So therefore, half of 4, halfway across from the middle to the edge, is going to be 2. So this is 2 meters. This is theta. And what's the height? The height of the pyramid is given as 10. So now let's stick our finger on theta, and we're interested in opposite over adjacent. So, ka, toa, we're interested in tan. Tan theta is equal to the opposite, which is going to be 10, over the adjacent, which is going to be 2. 10 divided by 2 is obviously 5, but you can just leave it like that if you want. To find the golden egg here, theta, the angle, you hit tan inverse, tan inverse of that fraction or the number. So let's hit the button here. What is tan inverse of 10 over 2? And the answer is around 78.7 degrees. So we're going to say theta is approximately 78.7 degrees. And that's great. We answered part A. Now let's focus on the second question here, alpha. Alpha here is going to be this angle over here. Let's redraw this triangle one more time. So this is a very strange problem because everything is a bit distorted in terms of perspective. But this here is also a right triangle. So this here is the right triangle. And we're trying to solve for alpha. And we know that this perpendicular height of the pyramid is 10. And what else do we know? So let's really focus on this original picture here. This original picture here. We know that this here is 2 meters across. This is 2. And this, this is a square. So this is 2. And so this is 2 as well. So we can figure out this length here using Pythagorean theorem. So if I were to draw a little right angle here, there's a square within a square. This is a big square. This is a small square. There's four small squares in a large square. We can focus on this subproblem here. So we have this nice square that happens to be 2 meters by 2 by 2. And we're trying to solve for this diagonal, diagonal length here. So if this is 2, this is 2. Let's solve for C. Pythagorean theorem tells us that c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared. In this case, a and b are 2. So c squared equals 2 squared, which is 4, plus 4. c squared equals 8. So therefore, this actual hypotenuse is going to be the square root of 8. So this diagonal here, which we're interested in, the bottom, the bottom part here is your c, is your hypotenuse. It's going to be root 8. So there we have it. We have the angle alpha, which is what we're interested in. We're interested in opposite adjacent, which we have to use Pythagorean theorem to get. Opposite adjacent, Sokatoa. It's going to be tan. Tan theta, or tan alpha, is equal to opposite over adjacent. So tan alpha is equal to opposite, which is 10, over some number which is root 8. Root 8 is simply a number, an irrational number. How do you figure out alpha? You hit this tan inverse button, tan inverse of 10 over root 8. Let's figure it out. Tan inverse of 10 over root 8. And the answer is 74.2 degrees approximately 74.2 degrees. Great job. We're doing Sokotoa even in 3D. Excellent.